Good morning. My favorite Brits. I enjoy this. I really like Britain. And uh, it's making me sad to see what's going on in Britain. Right. Now first I want to talk about Target stores in the United States. Uh, this is what I heard. They lost nine billion dollars in one week in market value after this uh, pride collection <laughs> where they for example they were selling tuck-in swimsuits for kids nine billion dollars right. now what do you think what was the reaction with the people working for Target you know the CEO or the board all these top executives <laughs> What do you think? Well, were they surprised? You know, they are in business, right? They want to make a lot of money. They want to bring a lot of people to their stores, right? They want to expand the target stores. And now they lost nine billion in one week. So how did they react? Well, I think they were surprised, you see? Because people just don't know. They have no idea. They are watching soap operas and uh, the news. They think everything is fine and somebody comes up with this idea. We should have a pride collection with this stuff. And they say, okay, yeah, that's good. This will be good for us, you know. And now they say, oh, I see. People didn't like this. Wow. And then now maybe they hear they hear about Bud Light, you know, and what happened with Bud Light. And they said, "I wish somebody would tell me about this. I had no idea that people didn't like this. They don't know, you see. That's what I think. Same thing with people who took the tea, right? A lot of them just took it and said, "Okay, this is great." And now they say, oh, I see, you can get sick from this stuff. I wish somebody would tell me, you know, in advance. I had no idea. That's what I think. Right, so, um, favorite Brits of all time, maybe, I think. I may have missed some people, of course. This is what I came up with. The dead ones are Peter Sellers. I love this guy. Tommy Cooper, comedian, fantastic, and Edward Elgar, composer, fantastic composer. And the live ones are Matt Letizier, footballer, brilliant guy. Not with the football, well he was a good football player, but he's a brilliant man. Andrew Bridgen, politician, very impressed with this guy, Andrew Bridgen, Katie Hopkins, oh, I love her, John Cleese, Eric Clapton, and Tommy Robinson. I'm so impressed with this guy, you know, I've been talking a lot about Tommy Robinson in the past, 20, no, 2017, 2018, what he was doing back then. I'm so impressed with this guy. And he made a documentary that I was watching yesterday that is amazing. One of the best I've seen. It's beautiful, great stuff. Well, it's not really beautiful. It's nasty, really. So who is this guy? Tommy Robinson. Well, if somebody didn't hear about him, maybe check him out on Wikipedia. You know? This is what they say about Tommy Robinson on Wikipedia. He is a far, well, he's a British far right Islamophobic activist. <laughs> right. So these ignorant people, this is what I, what they will believe, I suppose. But if you look into it and what he's been doing, well, it's an amazing man, Tommy Robinson. So he made this documentary called Silenced, and I, I, I don't want to tell you about it actually. I don't want to spoil it for you. It's a great, if you're going to watch it, it's a fantastic documentary about the situation in Britain with the government and the media 
And there's a story there. Right. And uh, it's just very, very good. And apparently they are trying to stop this uh, documentary. Right. So it's available on Rumble. So I'll post a link to it. It's, uh, I think it's one hour and 30 minutes or something. Right, it's just very, very good. And it shows, well, it showed me how nasty it is in the UK right now. It's terrible, actually. With media and the government, and the establishment. What they, are do what they are doing, what they are willing to do in order to get their way. It's very good. And Pierce Morgan is getting it, is, he's getting it in the documentary, which made me very pleased. This scumbag, Pierce Morgan. Well, there's so many things going on in this documentary. It's very, very good. All right. Well, that's all. Be good.